So everyone is crazy about this deep seek now. So I'm gonna make a video about how to make your own local NAS with a deep seek installed on it. So everyone is excited about deep seek right now, how little of the hardware power you actually need to run this um, LLM language model, artificial intelligence. But everyone is concerned about the data security. They have found so many leaks that people can access other people's data using those DeepSeek servers. So the only way to run this DeepSeek uh, securely is to install it somewhere locally in your home or office, somewhere with no connection to the internet. So in my experiment, I'm gonna be using some old DS420 Plus with Celeron CPU. I hope this hardware is going to be enough to run a very simple language model uh, on, on the local device. Otherwise, if you don't have a NAS at home to play with, but you still want to have a local AI, then I would recommend you to go to lmstudio.ai uh, slash download, so you can download um, this ecosystem for running any kind of um, AI model on your computer. So it doesn't need to be DeepSeek, it could be GPT-4, it could be Meta AI. There's a long list of uh, AIs that you can use on your computer. So you can use it for uh, Mac OS, Windows or Linux. Then since you install it, you can choose to have any uh, of those AI engines. So in my case, since I have a very weak laptop, I installed very basic uh, LLAMA 3.23b Instruct, uh, which is good enough for having a simple conversations. And you can have very simple conversations like Tell me a dad joke What do you call a fake noodle? An impasta Tell me a chicken joke Why did chicken go to doctor? Because it had foul breath So yeah, it's a very quick AI solution for your a local laptop or something If you want different language models you can go through the list and choose something like DeepSeek R1 what we were just talking about This is a resource friendly model that you could use all you need to do is click on it and download it and all this database, all this brain, what you're going to download is a size of 4.6 gigabytes. So this model has 7 billion parameters. It's not the smartest brain available there, but um, good enough for dad jokes or chicken jokes. So you may ask, why do I want to install AI on a NAS, which is possibly weaker even than a laptop? And the answer is very simple. On a NAS, you most likely will be storing all your documents, PDFs, photos, databases, everything textual, notes, your personal logs. So what you can do is you can link uh, this LLM uh, language model with your database, with your files, and all that happens locally. So you can use language model for communicating. So you can tell what you want to see. You can tell it to be your therapist, you can tell it to be your assistant, you can tell it to be your friend or whatever. So you can ask it to scan through the files and tell you what documents are related to your home sale or, or is there any patterns in your uh, personal journals that could help you to understand yourself. You can use that for so many things. So that's why we want to install it on an as. So before you start, you should probably have a look at uh, the hardware you're using. So in my case, I'm using some old uh, Celeron-based CPU NAS. So I was asking AI what sort of graphics card uh, should be used for the language models. So to run basic language models, you could go with something like NVIDIA RTX 3060. That's, that would be most popular 6-7 billion parameter language model. If you want to go above, like 60 billion uh, parameters, then you will need something more serious like NVIDIA A100. But what is most important is VRAM, so make sure you have more of that available to you. Then I was also asking what sort of CPU could be used if you don't have a GPU in your NAS or your computer. They say you could go with something very simple like Raspberry Pi if you go for language models like Tiny Bird. I wouldn't put my bet on it. It says you can have Apple M1 or Intel Core i9 for Llama 7B, which actually is true. I was just testing and uh, my laptop did run uh, Llama 3.2. If you have Ryzen 5 or Core i5 11 Gen, you can go for GPT-2 Small or Distilbert. Ryzen 7, Core i7 12 Gen, Llama 7B, GPT-2. Ryzen 9 and Core i9 13 Gen. Then you can go to a 13 billion option, 13 billion parameter option 
uh, from Llama or GPT Neox 20 billion. And then I was thinking, what sort of NAS do you need? Um, maybe you have a NAS already available to you, which you could test if you wanted to. If you own something like DS920, uh, which is older model, you could use uh, some very basic uh, tiny Llama 1 billion parameter AI, which I wouldn't put the my bet on. <laughs> I think you'll need something more powerful than that. 1621 with Ryzen CPU inside, that could uh, run this uh, Llama 7B model, which we were using actually on this laptop. And then good news for those that have QNAP 74 series or 88X series, their CPUs are very powerful and you could run these um, Llama language models, but also you have a dedicated PCIe slot, which means you can put a graphics card in there and you will be able to run these language models much faster compared to CPU power. Okay, let's get down to the business. I'll show you how to do it on a NAS. So you'll need um, a container manager if you have Synology. QNAP obviously have their own uh, container uh, app that you can use, but it's all about the Docker. So once that is installed, you can pull down the AI uh, Olama and get it all working. And now I'm gonna zoom out and I'm gonna show you what's going on on the screen. So it's uh, easier for you to understand how to do this thing. So first of all, you will need this script, uh, which is YAML file in this case. So it's easier to execute it. I have added it to a file or you can just copy and paste it. Uh, so in Synology, go to project, give the project name, uh, whatever you want it to be called. And then you link it to a folder where uh, you want this Docker to be installed. So deepseek, the file where is a script, that's my compose script. And then you can edit this file as well. Make sure that uh, it's accurate, like location, for example, or IP address of your uh, server. These are the things to pay attention to. But um, most importantly, the volume. If you have only one volume, all this script will match your needs. But otherwise, if you have several volumes, you'll need to change the accurate location uh, but this is something you can just double click on the number on the side and you'll be able to add it uh, these values uh, but yeah by default this script is supposed to work for you click next then set up a web portal if you want to access it through the web browser and go next and that's it click OK and then you can set up actually the portal uh, to work through the port uh, choose something random 9999 in my case and then click create and uh, this link is now created now all the docker is also uh, installed and pulled and you should be able to access it uh, through the web portal so if you go web station then you can open this user interface. Now you have your own chat GPT. Uh, but before we continue, you need to check, uh, you need to get your uh, LLM installed. So go to settings, models, and as you can see, I already downloaded DeepSeek and Tiny Llama. But if you want specific LLM, or if you want DeepSeek, type this in the field and click download, and it will pull that language model down to your NAS. And then you can choose from drop down which AI you want to actually use uh, when you when you get the answers to your questions. Uh, so in my case now is DeepSeek as a default option. You can ask a question and hit enter. As you can see, it's taking forever because this is a Celeron based uh, NAS and it has all sorts of problems. It times out, shows network problems, or if it doesn't reply, it takes ages. So when you go to logs, you can see that everything is used up. All the resources are going through the roof and uh, it takes forever to get the answers. So I think this Celeron based NAS is not a very good solution. So I did all the same things in SSH. So I went to control panel, enable SSH, use the terminal command line to log in and then downloaded again Docker and LLM manually. Uh, so, and activated this um, Docker image, this container, uh, created folder, uh, changed some copy uh, access rights to this folder, 
but uh, I was just facing issues with this as well so I was thinking command line will be faster but it was not so there is some issue with Celeron and LLMs so a few hours later I just gave up on this DS420 Celeron based CPU and I had to figure out what sort of NAS do you actually need to run AI model locally without delays, waiting and anything that annoys you. So I took these two drives out from the 420 plus and put them into DS1621 plus which has Ryzen CPU, Ryzen Wii 1500B. So if you were curious what other NASes have the same CPU if you don't have DS1621, it's also available in models like DS822, this is rack mount solution, or DS2422+, plus, DS1821+, plus, which is 8 bay model, just like that. I think it should also work on the uh, Ryzen R1600 CPU, but I wouldn't put too much hope in that, but um, there is a potential. And obviously everything above this uh, hardware will also be good and it will generate those replies very quickly. Uh, and that's your Xeons, any Xeons or anything uh, above this Ryzen, really. So I will show you what sort of performance you can expect from uh, local AI on a hardware like this. So let's zoom in. So I disabled uh, SSH version and uh, we are back into graphical interface. So you can see from drop down we can choose which language we model we want to use. Let's try Tiny Llama. How long it's going to take to get a reply so let's ask something simple like hey how are you and then wait and the answers are fairly quickly with tiny llama it's very small language model and it replies as quickly as you would expect from online ai models so then we were thinking let's test our deep seek what's the difference in speed so let's start a new chat ask um, some sort of random question uh, to a deep seek for example what day is it and uh, let's have a look how long it's going to take and it took 30 seconds just to think about what to answer the answers themselves are fairly quick but uh, the thinking time is something that is fairly annoying uh, so i was thinking maybe ssh the command line is going to be faster so we went back to uh, llama version uh, the smaller language model and see how long it's going to take to execute those commands and it takes around five six seconds to get a reply so it's not too bad you can actually have a conversation uh, in SSH or graphical interface with no problem with this Ryzen CPU I think this video has been a success we successfully installed a AI language model on our NAS, on our laptop. We are using Docker to do that, to achieve that, but uh, not only we can use graphical interface to uh, interact with that AI, but we can also use um, SSH command line, so we can also use it uh, to improve the performance. Uh, the other options that we can do with this solution is we can continue this series, maybe make another video, how to add a graphics card like this or like this, which would speed up the process, how quickly this text is being generated. So not only you could talk in that case with this uh, NAS, but you could also generate some sort of reports, articles, posts, whatever you want to think of. So maybe in future videos, I'll show you how to link this AI brain with your data or specific folders. So you can pull some reports, generate some articles and um, do some sort of automated things. On daily basis or you can ask some specific questions to access a database and bring back some information about the past events or you can use it for decision making uh, based on the facts that you are storing on your NAS. If you're interested in all these videos then please follow this channel otherwise I'll see you next time.